people, the headlines, the issues impacting you, all on This Week in Cincinnati on 9 in Your Side. And welcome back. Today we are speaking with Hamilton County Commissioner Chris Monzel about his bid for re-election. Uh, with us also WCPO government reporter Paula Christian. All right, um, let's talk about MSD if we can quickly. Uh, State Auditor had, had come out and said that roughly about $780,000 was misspent um, due to contractors, you know, filing invoices of work that hadn't been done or what have you. $780,000 is a lot of money. It is. And they claim, the auditor claims that due to a lack of oversight mm -hmm. is why this took place. What, well, what's the solution? For well, to me, the solution is that the county should be the owner and operator of the system. And How that's did what, I know you were going to say and that? And that's what I've been, fighting, <laughs> I've been fighting for that, Paula, for the last right. eight years in trying to make that happen. Because the city was under contract for 50 years. Uh, that expired just this year. Mm -hmm. um, my colleagues in the city council agreed to try to do a a new system where the county would become the operator of it but with an oversight board and employees staying in the pension system and and that uh, has kind of fallen apart right now and I think we're back to the mediation with the city on how we're going to figure out who is going to operate it but to me that is the bottom line is this county has to be the sole operator of the system we have to put the checks and balances in place that this does not happen because when people are paying those sewer bills right and and they're not they're not just water bills they're sewer bills I mean two-thirds of their bill is going to the sewer projects they expect that money to go to fix their sewers, to fix the backups they're seeing in their basement, right. the, the fix the stuff they're seeing out in the street. To hear that is being wasted and put on contracts and overbilling, you know, to me, is just, it's criminal. And I, I think that's really disappointing, and I think that's why the county needs to step in and really run the system. Western Hills Viaduct, the county implements yep. a $5 fee, a license registration fee, uh, $33 million coming from the city of Cincinnati, $330 some odd million dollar project. Yep. Will it ever get replaced? Yes, it will. Uh, definitely from a standpoint we have a timeline in place that's uh, roughly will take about 10 years from the time they start uh, doing the planning to actually be completed uh, but the money is still coming in slowly we have about you know, 10 years from the date they start there's no start date officially well, we're already starting the doing the planning and designing right now okay so in, in, right. in acquisition of property that's necessary to do it so sure. we are making steps it's a marathon, but <laughs> we will get there. And, and yeah. I think from a standpoint of funding, we're waiting on ODOT as well as the federal government to hopefully come through for the rest of the money. But sure. we have 60 million of that 300 million already in place. So that's 20% of the cost. So it's, that's a good start, but we need to keep working it. Back to the uh, election. It's an interesting cycle mm -hmm. that we're yeah. experiencing right now. Well, I mean, if you're a Democrat, you believe there's a blue wave coming and all the Democrats are going to turn out and, and, and vote out all the Republicans. Um, if you're a Republican, you think that your base is invigorated by the presidency. How do you feel? So I, I think either blue wave or red, red wave, uh, we're going to ride that wave because uh, I think we're going to go out there and we're going to talk to the voters. We've been going door to door. We've been doing all the, the festivals, parades. You know, just getting into the community to, to really talk to them and listen to them. And I think they know that I'm out there fighting for them, fighting to get the Western Hills Viaduct per place, fighting to keep their sewer bills low with MSD, you know, fighting to make sure their taxes are low. Uh, I mean, that's one thing I hear from citizens a lot is about their taxes, that they retired, but their taxes haven't. And, and that's something that I think I bring as, you know, being on a commission and, and being here for eight years, that I'll continue to do that. And so regardless of what wave it is or who's coming out, I think we have a good message that says, I'm here to solve the problems of Hamilton County and get things done. Do you think party really matters that much at the local you, level? You know, I, don't, I always said that. I think uh, when I was on Cincinnati City Council days, that it really doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican, just fix the pothole. You know, just fix the pothole, get the trash picked up, right. make sure your doesn't neighborhoods- Doesn't matter if it's a red or blue shovel. Exactly, right. make sure your, your neighborhoods are safe and clean. It, it doesn't really matter at the local level. And that's why I love local level so much because you actually feel where your tax dollar is going and how it impacts your everyday life. Uh, to me, that's why I've been so interested in local government and so involved because this is where you actually see the rubber meet the road. And that's where I think it really doesn't matter. It's just who gets the job done. Uh, we have just less than 60 seconds left, and I did mention we would speak about the opioid issue, and yeah. certainly less than 60 seconds isn't long enough to tackle it, but it's costing the county a lot of money. It, it really is, and we put the heroin, uh, Hamilton County Heroin Coalition together to really right. fight this. But we've got these quick response teams in place now right. where if people overdose, we're going and visiting them, trying to give them the services necessary, trying to get them the treatment so that they don't end up in the Justice Center, but rather that they're getting the treatment to get their lives back on track. That's how you solve this problem, is by education and making sure these folks know they got a second chance. And that's, you know, we're blessed to have companies like Nehemiah Industries who are offering folks to come in and actually get jobs uh, and get through you know, the rehab in order to get back their lives. So the current plan that's in place right now, 
you would stick stick with it moving forward for sure. Yeah, we do. We just yeah. got to keep moving forward, and and we will. We'll see. We'll see it change, but it's going to take us some time. Okay. All right, Chris Monzel, thank you so much for your time. Paula, thank you. Thank you. Okay.